control the funeral house. Cost money, Betty. Or my Betty. <laughs> We're both Betty. I forgot. I forget that sometimes. Betty and Betty and Jim on a cruise. Betty and Betty. <laughs> yeah, we should open a business. Betty and Betty's bows. Betty and Betty make bows with and Phil I mean, sitting there watching. <laughs> Jim. Jim. <laughs> No, my husband's Phil. He's oh, dead too. And He's I mean hungry. bows like with bow and arrows. Not, I don't hair bows. I'm not into that. But Hunger Games. I like that Hunger Games. Me too. I love. She's Hunger a brave Games. little girl. It's Jennifer Lawrence. Such a good she's example. She's like my she, granddaughter. And she's real down to earth in person. Have you heard about that? I know. And she's majoring in communication. She's making <laughs> all A's so far, and it's. I'm really proud of her. I'm talking about J Law. She called what? I'm talking about it's J Law. <laughs> she she calls me on her computer. J-Law she calls you. She doesn't even have a phone. She uses her computer to talk. Yeah, they do that. All you got to do is have an internet connection. Jim, Jim did that for a few years. He was already God dead. rest his soul. <laughs> oh, this is so dumb. Um, can I have my glasses back? They're right here. I put them on Jim. It's kind of morbid. <clears throat> so, uh, we haven't told you about our recent uh, camping endeavor. We went on a recent camping endeavor. We go endeavor. camping all the time. That's what oh, we do. Oh yeah, now. we're just that's just it's a hobby that's really just developed. Well, in our in ourselves. Uh, I'm I'm, not, I'm I'm like a rugged outdoorsman now. I feel like you you're got tagging right along within. Uh, I think you. Like I can blow up mattresses, air mattresses like that. You got as close as anyone has ever gotten to doing serious harm to one of my children with your driving prowess. Well, from my vantage point, you almost tipped a car over I was on just, the side of a mountain. I was listening to you, and so I was just doing what you were telling me to do. I'm blaming it on Nick. Little background. Um, so, so we got this four wheel drive vehicle. Uh, if you must know, it's an FJ Cruiser. If you don't like those, then get off. Just get off my back. Um, <laughs> I don't like people like giving. Their, I don't like the way those look. I don't giving their opinions on like what vehicle is a better vehicle. That's not. That's not the form for that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm just joking. Well, so we went on this. What's it called? Sherman Sherman Pass Four by Four Trail. Four by Four Trail. It's Sequoia National Forest. It's Sequoia National Forest, and we're coming down, and it's it's this dirt road coming around a mountain, oh, and, and you, all up in a mountain and down a mountain, like switch. Imagine you calling a dirt road is a little underestimating it. Yeah, imagine a the most rigorous hiking trail that would go up the side of a mountain, okay, and then just make the trail wide enough for a truck instead of just like hiking boots. But it's got the same amount of rocks, and if every second when you were hiking you were about to twist your ankle or like break your leg, like that type of trail, but on a truck. That's a, and on and like the rocks weren't as big as your like foot. The rocks were as big your tire. as 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 your what? Your tire. Your tire. Yeah. So you know this is we've kind of gotten into this. And what you do is you put yourself because there's a lot of opportunity in California in a situation where you may not make it out of there without help, right? And then when you do make it out of there without help, you feel like you've accomplished something. It's really inducing like, a, some stress and some anxiety. I preserved my life. That and was then awesome. Trying to solve a problem. It's like, can we make it up this hill? It's it's kind of addicting. I mean, we're, we we've gotten into it, and we have this. You know, we go with our friend Nick who has another capable vehicle. You don't want to do this kind of thing by yourself. Well, we took um, my kids with us because your kids and wife are out of town and mm-hmm. I want to give my wife a break, give her a weekend by herself. And we took Locke and Shepard with us. And so they're riding with us pretty much. But as we're going down this crazy mountain pass, it's super steep, we left Shepard in the car and Locke kind of got out with us to kind of look and help spot, you call it, as you're helping people get down the mountain. Well, we switch off, so like Link will drive a little bit, and then I'll spot for him, and then I'll get in and drive, and, and Link will spot for me. So right, because you gotta say exactly where the tire's got to go, because if the tire doesn't, if the tire goes six inches the wrong way, it could debilitate your vehicle, and then you're, well, you know, you're gonna eat, be eaten by wolves, and yeah, you'll you be know, out there for days. Experiencing the afterlife. Now, we are uh, novices at this, we've only done it a few times, 
and this trail was rated most difficult by the Forest Service. It's probably not a great idea to go on it, but we were like, what the heck, let's just do it. And we get to We've this got park, young children. And, uh, <laughs> let's do it. Long as, uh, Shepard's in the back, Link's driving. We're coming down this switchback. They're coming down this switchback turn, and there's this log. And we're, I, I think you got to put your wheel on this log. So Link is literally driving down this mountain, and one of his wheels is on a log. And he's like, st- keeping the wheel on the log. And then me and Nick had to make a decision. You're moving really slow. It all happens very, very slowly. We went uh, nine miles in five hours, just to give you an example of how long it takes. So he's like, Get. sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. And so Nick's like, I think he needs to go on the high side of this thing. And I'm like, I think he needs to go on the low side. He goes up on the high side. And so the car starts tipping like this. And I look, and Link's back right tire is like a foot and a half off the ground. And his front left tire is off the ground and is teetering, balancing on two tires. This mountain is like this, by the way. And Nick jumps on the back of the car to hold it down on like the rock rail to lean back and then it starts rocking like this. It throws him off of the thing and this momentum starts to carry it. I thought I was about to watch the SUV roll down. I don't know, if it probably would have just like stopped after like one roll, probably, I don't know. And he was buckled in. He was in a car seat. He was in a car seat. He would have been fine, but um, I, I was not at risk of, I mean, you, it's like a cantilever thing. There's, there was no risk of me rolling. Oh, you don't think so? No. I was watching it. If the, because you roll like this, you don't roll, you don't roll over a front wheel. You roll over your side, over the, so if those two wheels were lower, if we were like this, but we were like this, you know, you can't roll over that way. Well, maybe you can't, but okay. So we survived that, but the most treacherous thing that happened was actually after we finished and we're driving back home and it's the We were on pavement. We're on pavement. Now it's a pretty windy road. I'm thinking to myself, you know, my kids are in the back and I remember when my dad would drive around roads like this when I was a kid, I would start getting car sick. So I'm like occasionally checking, but the whole trip they hadn't complained about being car sick. We're coming down, we're about to get back to the highway. Shepard says, stomach ache. <laughs> and I was like. That's all he says. I was like, I'm just gonna kind of ignore that. <laughs> Mistake number one. Five minutes pass, he's like, Stomach ache. And I'm like, Shepard, listen, we're going to be the highway just a second. Just chill out. And then he's like, a minute later, I think I'm going to throw up. And I was like, Shepard, don't. I like turn around. I'm like, breathe through your nose. Just And then, and like, you're slamming on brakes. And I'm like, don't throw up. Like, hold it in your mouth. And then I look and Locke, my 10-year-old son, is has picked up a pillow and is shielding himself from Shepard. And the next thing you know, we hear a... Uh, Blech. Splat. I look back there and it's just all over him. His pants, his seat, the seat. We find it, this little turn off. We get out and thankfully we had all these other changes of clothes because we were camping. And baby wipes. We cleaned it all up, put it in a bag. And then I noticed you you drove home with Nick after that. Yeah, I got in the you other got car. Out of, you got out of my car. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. 